play games. I, I don't hear you. Yes or yes? Yes. Yes or yes? Yes. All right. So, on the count of three, all of you are going to look around this broom, 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 and you're going to search for everything that is white. On the count of three, not yet, not yet. One, two, three. Search for white, search for white, search for white, search for white, look for white, look for white, look for white, 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 stop. Now close your eyes. I see you, close your eyes. <laughs> All right, who saw something that was red? Two people. Now open your eyes. Why didn't everyone see red? So I was focusing on white. I told you guys all are really good students here. We all focus on white. So what that means is we have the power to put our focus on whatever we want. And I'm going to teach you a few tricks that have worked for me in my business as a mindset coach and a strategist in business and a public speaker that has helped me build the success that I have today. So who's ready to learn that? Yes and yes. All right, I like it. So what that little game was to teach you is whatever we focus on expands. So we were focusing on looking for white, right? So everyone was searching around the room, white, white, white. Some of you even saw beige and you call it white, right? Because you were searching for white. So I, what I want you to do is, is think about this concept when it comes to business. Because whatever we focus on does expand. And this is now what I'm going to teach you what I call the ABCs to really winning your prospect over and creating a client, not just for one sale, but for life. I like to call them hashtag lifers, where they're loving you because they trust you. All right, so I need a volunteer. Who's brave enough to come up here? You, come. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's, let's all give them a hand while he's coming up here. Now, the first thing we're going to teach today is A. A stands for attitude determines altitude, okay? So what I'm going to show you is three examples. Tell me your name. I'm Spencer. Spencer. Nice to meet you. Oh, you got some red eyes see. Okay. That's what the two people saw the red was like, oh, Spencer's tight. <laughs> so what I'm going to teach you today, three examples with Spencer, and I promise I'm not going to be mean. Well, maybe kind of sorry. You might, right, you're going to find get out. better, I'm blown with it. <laughs> So the first example I'm going to show you, these three examples are what we do subconsciously when we speak to people. When we go to networking events, we're not aware of it. I'm going to help you see how obvious it is. Because 93% of the language is body language. The way we communicate, it's not our words, it's the way we communicate with our body from head to toe. So I'm going to show you three examples right now with Spencer of what we do subconsciously when we go meet people, when we go out to places, when we go network. And it's to help you be aware of this so you realize how Spencer, in other words, the prospect, is actually taking you in. Make sense? Yeah. All right. So the first example I'm going to show you all with Spencer is I'm going to come off to him really scared. Like, really scared, really afraid, really timid, like he's going to like hurt me, okay? And we do this without even realizing it. Okay, so I'm walking up to his Hi. What, what's your name? I'm Spencer. Spencer, oh, nice to meet you on Tess. Really, really nice. Okay, okay, bye. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. one example. Now, some of us may not do it as extreme, but we tend to do this. We're nodding our heads and we're like, yeah, I've totally done that because we're so stuck in our own mind. If you want to do business the right way, you've got to put yourself in the other person's shoe. You can't think about how I'm feeling in the moment. I'm scared because I don't know Spencer. No. Do you want to be an amateur or you want to be a professional? Do you want to be an amateur or you want to be a badass? Which one do you want to be? And I like to win, as you can't tell. <laughs> so I choose to win. So I'm focusing on how am I going to communicate to Spencer that I actually want to do business with him and he wants to do business with me, right? Okay, second example. I'm going to come off like I just really do not want to meet this guy. I really do not have the time to care about meeting Spencer and I could care less what he says, okay? All right, round two. What's your name? I'm Spencer. Spencer? Yes. Like Spencer? Spencer. You know, it's, it's cool. I just, just, just go. Just, just go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal. 
All right, again, not as dramatic, but we get, we get the hint, right? We get the clue. Sometimes we're so caught up in family crap, drama, things that are going on before we go meet Spencer, so we're bringing that energy when we're talking to Spencer, and it's all coming to him right now. So really, it's completely failing right now when we're talking to him because we got the brain chatter going on with the kids, the husband, the wife, the drama with the best friend, the brother who's doing whatever. We have to focus our energy on Spencer, not about what's going on in our head, right? All right, third one. This is my favorite. I'm gonna be nice, no, I promise, no, I, I promise. Know. This one, I'm gonna pretend I'm meeting Spencer like he is my best friend. I haven't seen him in a whole entire year. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to meet him. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah? Okay. Oh my God, it's Spencer! Oh my God, how are you? I have not seen you in forever. Oh my God, you look great. How have you been? Oh my God, tell me, God, what are you doing? Right? Okay, another dramatic. It's dramatic. But I'm showing that I'm genuinely excited to see Spencer. Okay, Spencer, you go sit back down. Thank you. Everyone get in the <laughs> So as we can see in these three scenarios, my body language was a completely different type of way I was communicating to Spencer. Yes or yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what I want you to realize moving forward is your attitude determines your altitude. Altitude meaning we're going up, we're going up in sales, we're closing people, we're creating clients for life. It's all about how you're positioning your attitude with your energy. So you gotta remember, you gotta clear out the clutter, you gotta clear out the noise. When you're talking to people, when you're going to meet them, put yourself in their shoes. How do I wanna present myself? How do I want them to feel? Do I want them to feel like they're scared to talk to me? Do I want them to feel that I am a waste of their time? Or do I want to make them feel like, I am so happy to see you like a long lost friend, right? And that does everything, because that goes to B, which is being a safe place for someone. Now deep, deep down, we're all that little boy, little girl on the inside that never goes away. No matter how old we get, that little girl, that little boy, she's like, yeah, girl, I know. It's inside of us. So when we go talk to people, that little boy, that little girl's like, is it a safe place to talk to them or not? We have to create that by the way we shift our energy when we're talking to them. So be genuine. What's your name? Bree. Bree, so nice to meet you. I'm genuinely excited to meet Bree. By the way, I love your dress. It's fabulous. You have to be so genuine with people that they want to be your friend. Because I go by the mantra in life, friendship first, business follows. You've got to create a trusting environment by creating that. It's like a blankie. Create a blankie. Think blankie, okay? Visual, brain, blankie. Be the blankie to your prospect. Create that safe place. Be a safe place. That's B. And the last one is C. Comfort zone. Oh, man, we all know this, right? Comfort zone. We hear it all the time. Get out of your comfort zone. You can't be in your comfort zone if you want to create success. I'm telling you right now, if you stay in your little shell, like a little crab crawling into your shell, you are never going to get to the level you want with your business. You have to get out of your comfort zone and successful people are comfortable being uncomfortable. I want you to say that out loud three times. I will be comfortable being uncomfortable. I will be comfortable being uncomfortable. I can't hear you. I will be comfortable being uncomfortable. That is going to be every single day. The mantra that you're like, and now your wife or husband's like, what are you saying? You're like, I will be uncomfortable, be uncomfortable. Be. <laughs> you have to literally, in your brain, all day long, realize that. That's how successful people think. They're comfortable being uncomfortable. So I hope with these ABCs and remembering, however I shift my energy is how I communicate to that person. If I'm happy to see them, if I'm scared to see them, or if I'm really genuinely excited to see them. And this is going to determine the altitude that you take your business because people do business with people that they know, like, and trust. All right, guys, thank you so much today. I appreciate you.